throughout history, peoples and societies were formed and then disintegrated, assimilated, conquered and exiled. But only in one case, exiled and dispersed people returned to their homeland after thousands of years and revived their ancient tongue as a spoken language. So, we know that the enlightenment of the 18th and 19th century in Europe created new challenges for traditional Jewish life. The new European nation state offered Jews equality. But equality can only be real if the Jewish identity will be replaced by the local national identity. And at the very same time, a new Jew hatred, anti-Semitism spread throughout Europe like wildfire taking a heavy toll on Jews. So, in the face of this grim new reality, what do they do? Well, many hoped that the process of integration would ultimately succeed. Others clung to tradition and continued to pray for divine redemption. Some believed that the communist revolution would bring a world utopia. And millions chose to leave Europe and immigrated to the United States. But, there was one more possibility, a return to the land of Israel and the establishment of an independent state for the Jewish people. Yeah, but we know this idea was embraced by very, very few Jews. True. Jews had always lived in the land since the destruction of the Second Temple, but the land was a barren, dangerous, and impoverished province of the Ottoman Empire. Here, read this. The hills are barren. They are dull of color. They are unpicturesque in shape. The valleys are unsightly deserts, fringed with a feeble vegetation that has an expression about it of being sorrowful and despondent. It is a hopeless, dreary, heartbroken land. Rebuilding this heartbroken land. This is an idea as ancient as exile itself. But it was Theodore Herzl, a liberal Jewish intellectual journalist who turned the dream into a political movement. That's the first Zionist Congress in 1897. Herzl turned to world leaders in order to get international support. He turned the Jewish people into a player on the world stage for the first time in 1800 years. They established organizational, political, and economic tools to implement its age old vision, like this. What's this? I got this last month from the Navon family. It's an actual piece from the railroad built during Ottoman Empire. Herzl came from Europe to Jaffa on a steamboat and a steam train from there to Jerusalem. So all this movement is happening whilst many Jews reject the idea itself. Yes. Many viewed it as a delusion at best, and more often as a terrible mistake, even a sin. Zionism was like a little fragile boat sailing across a sea of rejection to the shores of a desolate and dangerous promised land. Its mission seemed impossible. But Zionism grew. It flourished during an era of unparalleled distress. The Zionist movement tapped into the last ounces of Jewish strength and mobilized its sons and daughters into efforts unparalleled in human history. In the generation before the Holocaust, and most forcefully following it, Jewish immigrants and pioneers from Africa to Russia and from Arabia to Europe and America immigrated to Israel. Through determination and innovation, the land became once again fruitful and prosperous. The vision of the prophets that foresaw the ingathering of the exiles and the resettling of the land came to life. Far from the centers of international commerce, the people of the book built a prosperous state with a strong economy, full of initiative and promise. They built universities and research institutes and centers of Torah study. Israel became a leading hub of world innovation the startup nation with the highest rate of innovative tech companies per capita in the world. What a peculiar story.
from historical perspective. These tremendous changes were not only unprecedented, but they also happened in the blink of an eye. From an exiled and persecuted people that faced annihilation to a people that has returned to history with an independent state that can once again be responsible for its own fate. What do you think this means for the Jew? What does it mean for the world? 